I was trapping out uh, like a, it was better than this. It was like an Airbnb type hotel. And nigga, it's just like the sun's coming up, like, and these niggas hit me up like at six in the morning on some thug life shit, texting me. Bro, like, I, I, I think I had robbed Buddy. I don't know what I did to Buddy. I think I robbed him. I robbed him a couple of weeks before, and then he was on some, like, please, please, please. Give my money, please. I'm like, no, nigga. Like, then he started to buy drugs from me because he knew I wasn't going to give him the money. So he would cop. And then, like, I guess the drugs got him one day. And these niggas hit me up, like, at 6 in the morning on some thug life shit, texting me. Like, oh, I'm showing up, nigga, this and that. Like, like rapping, nigga, text, text message rapping. Oh, fuck you, nigga, I'm going to pull up with my dog, this and that. I told him, go ahead, pull up. <laughs> So like, nigga, how are you gonna warn me that you're coming? You feel me? Like, that's dumb as fuck. You stupid niggas. And I was I was on some weird sneaky like I was waiting for them type shit. So like I'm looking out the window and I see them niggas pull up, and I see he, he's with other niggas. It was three. So like, I saw them get out of the car, and they they walked. I, I went I went around the staircase, and I was hiding in the back, like in the back of the hallway, basically. Thought, as soon as the motherfuckers opened the front door to the hotel and walked, stepped in the hallway, I just started shooting. They were like, God, God, God. Inside the hallway, inside the hotel, dog. Like, and the hotel, the hallway is, you know, a hallway like this big. Like, right. And it was three of them, bro. And, and, and I still missed, nigga. I missed all three of them fuckers, bro. That shit was crazy. And then I ran after them, and one of them jumped in the car. And, bro, I was trying to get him. And like, I could see his little shadow. You know, because the car tints, but you can still see the shadow. It was jumping from back seat to front seat, like back. To, try not to get hit. Thank God I missed. Nah, nigga, but I don't know what the fuck going on, bro. God better have done that shit. <laughs> then they called me like, yo, you're fucking crazy. Why you did that? Nigga, you showed up in my spot. What the fuck you talking about? Like, it's not my fault you're retarded, nigga. Like, I ended up getting a job that night in the hotel because the manager saw the whole footage of me shooting at these people. Right. The camera, like, the hotel got me, and then, like, the owner and the manager called me, like, yo, what the fuck you got going on? But I had to make up some shit, like, yo, these people were trying to break into the hotel, you know, I did you a favor. I, I scared them off. So the nigga ended up giving me a job, like, a security. Because that, that place, like, at 5 in the afternoon, the, the everybody would go home. So if there were any late check-ins, like, I would handle that. I was a shit. And he gave my baby mama a job in the front desk. Yeah. Then the next, not the same day, the very next day, some other shit, like, bro, the, after the, because the door was full of holes, you feel me, like, that, that night, that morning. Nigga fixes the door, bro, the very next fucking day, I used to buy pills off some little Cuban nigga. Whatever, he comes to sell me some shit, and, like, my, my dog had been wanting to rob this nigga forever, but I was already, I was trying to be a nice guy, you feel me, like, nah, man, like, don't rob him, this and that. So like, he came to sell me some pills, we're doing business. But he shows up in my house, he's mad drunk, and he's like, he comes in and he's like, oh, I left something in the whip. Nigga goes to the car, and I'm in my apartment, but I hear like this crazy loud noise. So like, I'm there waiting for him, I'm in my room, and I hear like this loud ass crash, like a loud noise. But I don't know, I don't pay no mind. He comes in to the apartment, and he's acting weird as fuck. Like, oh, I gotta go, like, I gotta go. I'm like, I don't know, I peeped, like I felt it, I'm like, something's going on. So I'm like, all right, nigga, I'm gonna walk you down. Nigga, when I'm walking him down, bro, I see the fucking front door on the floor, like, literally ripped off the hinges. Like, the, the manager had fixed the door with the bullet holes. Um, this nigga just ripped the new door off the hinges on some weird rampage shit, like. Yo, and I got so hot, bro, that right there, I just pulled out my gun, kind of pistol whooped his ass, like, hit him. I don't even know why he did that. Oh, he was, while I was hitting him, he was telling me that the door was locked and he couldn't get in. Then he got robbed. Like, I robbed him. I dragged him up the stairs. And then I'm like, nigga, I should have let my friend rob you, nigga. Now, I ended up just robbing him. I'm like, give me your book bag. Give me everything in your pockets. I kept hitting him. And then I let him be on his way. But he brought that on himself. I tried to save him. His wife ended up calling me that night thanking me, like on some weird shit. Really? Yeah. 
oh, he fucked that guy, this and that. I'm like, man, fuck you too, bitch. Don't call me, bro. Like, I don't know what you want. Yeah, and I had taken all his shit, and I ended up linking up with him in jail. Oh, you did? Yeah, that was like crazy. But he was, he's like, why you did that, bro? Why you did that, this and that? I'm like, nigga, you broke the front door. What do you, what do you want? I tried to help you. Maybe a day later, two days later, I got, bro, I was, all that shit, bro, I was on no sleep one day and like party mode and I don't know why the fuck I decided to like jump in a car with all my drugs. Like I decided, I don't know why. It was like some weird shit. And I was gonna go do some fraud shit at a store and then he called me to wait for him. So I ended up going buy some more drugs to flip. And I'm on my way back home and like, I'm on Biscayne, nigga, there ain't no other cars in the street. And I see a cop in front of me. I'm like, damn near a couple blocks from my crib already. And I'm like, all right, nigga, cause I was already kind of starting to nod off and shit. And I'm like, yo, there's a cop. I'm talking to myself. I'm like, yo, there's a cop in front of you, bitch. Like, so I'm like, yo, tighten up, nigga, don't go to sleep. And I didn't even finish talking to myself and I passed out and I ran right into the cop. Crashed right into that fucker, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, out of all, there wasn't no cars in the street, but I had to run into a cop with all my drugs, all my drugs. Did you, were you conscious after, like, were you dazed? Like? Nah, I just woke up and I was sober as fuck right there. And, like, I told him, I jumped out, I'm like, yo, the fucking brakes don't work. Okay. Yeah, like, he got pissy, he got out of the car, he's like, what the fuck, he's just talking shit. I'm like, I'm like, sir, I'm like, this is an old car, like, I tried to brake and the shit don't work. Like, so, like, he drags me out the car, like, he was pissed off. And then I tried to lie about my name and it was working too. Like I, I was close to getting away. And like, he, he's like, bro, you need to tell me your real name. Cause I know you, it's coming, your, that name you gave me is coming back to like no record. And I know you got a record, this and that. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I never been arrested, bro. Like, and then some other dickhead cop pulls up and he's like, oh, Abel, what's up? And right there, I was like, all right, it's done. <laughs> this fucking cop just said Abel and shit. Yeah, yeah, like the nigga, when, he, when that cop called me Abel, it wasn't because of like, they were watching me or none of that. It's just because of social media and other like videos and shit. Like, and that's it, it was a wrap. Yeah. They find everything like. Oh yeah, they search your car. Yeah, they find everything. Which, but all that shit saved me because like I, I got a lawyer and like, but still. But you went to jail for the drugs or for fraud? Like, no, the drugs. Okay. They didn't even peep the fucking fake cards that I had in my wallet. Like, they were so happy with all the drugs they found, they didn't so worry that, about it. Trafficking, they gave me traffic. I got trafficking pills and trafficking coke, and, cause I had everything. Molly, coke, pills, lean, I had everything. So like, I got hit with several traffickings, and one trafficking charge is mandatory 25 years. Like, mandatory. And I had like three of them shits. And they're telling you this, what? So you're sitting in the county, you your lawyers telling you this? Who's telling you this? Yeah, I went through two lawyers. Like, the first paid lawyer, I, I, like, I bought it with a little money. But that guy was a piece of shit. Like, he didn't do nothing, bro. Like, he was even actually telling me, yo, just sign, sign the little 25 years, bro. Like, just, just sign it. And I was like, nigga, I don't got a record, bitch. Like, how the fuck am I going to get 25? And then I ended up firing his ass. And for a minute, I just didn't have nothing. And then, I didn't talk to nobody. I found no family or nothing. And then my old boy wrote me a letter one day and I got in contact with him. We started talking and then like, he ended up buying a lawyer for me, a really good lawyer. And you said you didn't have much of a record. Nah. For real, like you didn't have a record. Cause, nah, cause the cop was saying, but you probably, you had little records. So yeah, I had shit. little minor shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing serious. Like I had a lot of dumb shit, but nothing, no crazy felonies type shit. That's yeah, cause I, I never left Little Havana. So in Little Havana, I'm safe to do all that That's shit. I already had given up hope because like, even the good lawyer was like, yo, you just gotta be patient. Like, cause they, the judge had denied me bond like three times. Like they didn't want to give me bond, no house, or they didn't want to give me nothing. Like just sit in jail type shit. And fucking one day I fucking, it was, it was a really big rumble, like a really big fight, bro. Like some crazy, it was gang shit. But I wasn't really into that gang shit right now. So like, but it was a lot of my homeboys were in it. So like, I, I was in it, and I ended up I ended up getting hit with like a big metal object in my head, and I didn't feel it at the time. Like, I think I hit the ground, but I got up quick because it was something hard and had metal, and I got up quick and I kept fighting like nothing, 
And bro, like, literally a week later, a whole week, maybe even more, bro, I wake up one morning, bro, and like my fucking legs don't work. On some weird shit, like they did not work. Nigga, imagine motherfucker, imagine not being able to move your legs, bitch. Like, that's the weirdest feeling on earth, nigga, like. And one arm was like really weak, like, I couldn't really like move one arm. And then like, I played it off, like maybe I slept wrong type shit. And I, nigga, I couldn't even get up, like, them shits did not work. I'm talking about nigga, like, you know the paraplegics that you see them go like that, like, Bro, nigga, the shit was like dead, nigga. I couldn't do nothing, bro. Couldn't walk. They, the the staff in the jail were like really, really like not paying attention, like. And I had to call my lawyer and then all this shit. And then finally, like, I think the next day, like, they ended up uh, rescue, nigga, took me, lights on and everything, dude, to the hospital. And I was there for like a month. Yeah, they moved me to medical housing type shit. But that shit got me even worse, cause nigga, now you're in a place full of crippled people. So you're, you're like, oh shit. Bro, now, now I feel really crippled and really pathetic, nigga. Like, holy shit. And they, at first they thought I had a heart attack cause I was all big and shit. They're like, oh, you had a heart attack. But then they checked all my, they checked everything and then like my heart was perfect. So they didn't, nigga, they did a spinal tap, like fucking giant needle on my spinal cord type shit. That shit hurt. And mind you, I'm fucking handcuffed the whole time with three guards in my room all the time. And they were just searching for everything. Then they did MRIs and CAT scans and they started doing everything. And then that's when they found a, a lesion in the brain. Wow. And then, yeah, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, yo, I don't give a fuck what it is. Just like, am I gonna walk? And they were like, nah, nigga, that's how you're staying. Like, you're not gonna walk no more. Cause you know, Different doctors come to see you in the room. Yeah, yeah. Every doctor, I would ask the same. Doc I would ask the doctor the same question. Every doctor that walked in, like, Yo, I don't care what I got in my brain, nigga. Like, am I gonna walk? Like, I don't care what happened. They're like, Nah, bro. That's how you're gonna be. That's how you stay. I'm like, Damn, it's fucked up. <laughs> to, I don't know. To me, nigga, this was fake as fuck. I was like, Dog, how the fuck? This ain't. You feel me? Like, this is a bad dream, nigga. Like, this ain't happened to me. Like, what the fuck, people gonna think when they see me and shit? Like. I was like, yo, get me out of here. Back to general population, bitch, please. <laughs> yeah, I had to fill out papers. Like, yo, we're not responsible if you leave medical housing. I'm like, yo, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna kill myself in this bitch, bro. Like, oh, and by that time, nigga, my arm had curled up. Like, my shit was like this, like on some weird chicken wing shit, bro. Imagining I would've came out, yo, what's up, nigga? <laughs> that fucked up. All crippled and shit. And my main shit was like, my kids, you feel me? Like, I came in perfect, and now I'ma jump out, nigga, like, in a motherfucking wheelchair, like, and a crippled arm and shit, like. I'm like, hell no, nah, nigga. And then I'm like, all right, maybe now they'll release me type shit, because, uh, you know, maybe, because I'm paralyzed. Nah, not even. They weren't having that shit. No. They don't care, I guess. So, nigga, I go back, and now I'm in a wheelchair, like, yo, when, when, my, when I went back in, and my homeboy seen me, like, they teared up instantly, like, nigga, you were walking, like, a couple, like, not a couple of days, but like, you left here kind of like, like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, bitch, for life, bitch, like, crippled as fuck. So, like, a couple of my homeboys had teared up and shit, but I already, I was already like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Nigga, look at all my grades, nigga. Yeah, but then I, then I got, I started praying, you feel me? Like, I would pray a lot. All you could do was just pray after. It was like, like, fucking, what else is there you could do, right? Pray, because they didn't give me medicine, nigga. There was no medicine for that. I just didn't want people to see me like that, especially my kids. But I, I didn't, nobody knew, nobody really knew what had happened to me because I didn't talk to nobody. Yeah, and like, I would pray. This was in October, like, the one that just passed. Oh, okay. So, and I got released maybe, like, the beginning of February. So like, that whole time I was paralyzed and then like, bro, I would pray, damn near pray a lot, like 50 times a day, like shit like that. And then I sit there in my bed trying to move my toes, like bro, damn near shit myself trying to move my toes. And nigga, nothing bro, like them shoes were just, I'm like, you know, I would do this. I'll be like, trying to like, yo, wake up, wake up, Lay. 
trying to see if they woke up and shit, like, and then, bro, like, slowly, slowly, like, I remember one night, like, I moved, like, my pinky, some bullshit little movement, I was like, that shit got me mad, because I was like, I got this, watch, and then, like, nigga, I'll be like, oh, <laughs> and then, nigga, like, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, I would move like one toe and I'd get happy and then like a couple of days later I'd move another toe and like then all the toes but no foot. The foot was dead but then the toes. And then nigga like just started like once I saw that I started praying harder and shit. When once they saw me kinda walking, like they had to uh send physical therapists to teach me how to walk. Cause nigga, you feel me? You not that you forget, but your body yeah, yeah, forgets. So nigga, I'm there like, I was walking nigga like, you know, fuck, weird, fucked up, crippled people you see walking in the street all weird, like, I think I was worse than that. After I finally was able to move all my toes and shit, like, and all that, like, I still couldn't really stand up, like, my legs would buckle backwards. That shit would hurt, nigga. I'll try to stand up and they'll, like, and I'll be like, ah, son of a bitch. Now I get hot because the therapist will be like, oh, move. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. You and move. And after like a bunch of weeks of the therapy and shit, you got like how many weeks of the therapy did it take you? Bro, they would come to, to the jail once a week, bro, for like an hour. I just did it, nigga. I did it myself. Like, yeah. I would wait for everybody to go to sleep, nigga, and then I would like walk around in a circle. And nigga, it would literally like, what I could do in 30 seconds, it would take me, nigga, like 20 minutes to walk that circle. Bro, by the, one, by the time I got released, bro, I was damn near walking perfect. Cause bro, I would walk a lot. Like once I was able to like to stand, like I'll just grab onto one of my homeboys and just move my legs type shit. Yeah. Some of my dogs would like walk next to me and like hold me, cause niggas sometimes I'd be walking, I'd be like, oh shit, oh shit, pop, yeah, yeah, yeah. and bust my ass. Once I before I got better, nigga, I was walking with a limp. I was like, all right, I can stay like this, cause I walk like, yeah. like with a weird limp, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty straight. Like yeah, yeah whatever, if it's a limp. Yeah, so I'm like, all right. And then, nah, I just got better, 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 nigga, like. Well, actually, right before I, they released me, I went back for a follow-up. And I went back and I was able to walk. And, yo, when them pussy-ass doctors seen me, bro, like, they were like, yo, they would call, one doctor would call his homeboy and, like, they would call another doctor, read their fucking papers, like, what the fuck? And, like. Yeah, they, they wouldn't say nothing. They're just looking at me like, yo, what the fuck? And looking at their papers and call another doctor and look at me and they couldn't explain shit. Like, And then finally they're like, yo, I don't, they didn't know what to tell me. They were like, yo, whatever the fuck you did and whatever you prayed to, just keep doing that. Yeah. Like they didn't, they couldn't explain shit. Like, Did you see any of the doctors that told you you weren't going to walk again? Yeah, same doctors. Did you say, did you talk shit to them? I was like, hell yeah, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga, like.